Here we are again for the draw for week three of the Hackney and Leighton League. Um, we've had two weeks of Division Three matches. Who knows where we end up tomorrow, Saturday today. There's actually cup games as well happening tomorrow. So it means that we might see a team outside of the Hackney and Leighton League if they're drawn against one of these teams. This team. Who is it? Let's take a look. It is Badu FC in the Premiership. Look at that. A Premiership game. It's an exciting. We're going to see top flight football at Hackney Marshes. Wow. Brilliant. Badu FC. And who are they playing? Badu FC are playing City East FC. Badu FC versus City East FC. Match day. A Premier Division match day. Feels special. I'm intrigued to see what the football is like at the top of the Hackney and Leighton League. Nearly there. You know what? I think I've earned my stripes now. I think I am officially media, which means I'm an official, which means I can go into the car park Ooh, after the bus. No problem. Okay, let's do this. Nice and slowly, play it cool. I should get my story straight. Excuse me, sir, are you a player? No, I'm an official. You're a referee? No. A groundskeeper? No. Are you a coach? No, no, no. I'm a creative freelancer. I have a YouTube channel. Oh, I see. Please, bark anywhere you want. Uh-oh, there's a couple of high visas. They must be in charge of the parking. Okay. Entry, but the arrow's pointing the other way. Oh no, I'm attracting attention to myself. Hmm, shall I just park in here? Come on, don't be indecisive. We'll go around. Oh, that looks like a nice spot. Look at this. Beautiful. Parking in nature. Oh, some berries. Looks like rose hip. I could make some tea. Okay, let's make a run for it. Dum -dum 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 -dum. A puddle. It has rained recently. But no water on the pitches. They drain very well, apparently. This crow is digging out the post. Okay, what pitch is it? S6. Off we go. Checking the map. The wind is very strong today. It could be a factor. Now that is City East FC doing their warm-ups. And Badu FC. You can see these are Premier level warm-ups. And here's the ref. Nice and punctual. And off we go for our first Premier Division feature match. But do FC just knocking it around nicely. Look at this Premier quality. You can see it, can't you? Look at that. We have a Division 3 match on the next pitch with Lymore Gardens in white attacking and scoring against FC Woodgreen. But back to our feature match, but do forward. Donked clear by City East. Secondary donk. Or a tussle here. And the ref seeing something that he doesn't like. Badu coming forward. Knocks it through to 71 who has looked lively early on. Through to 17. 
There's another ball on the pitch, but it doesn't matter. It's an excellent finish to put Badu FC 1-0 up. Corner for Badu. Chipped in high. Good header, but cleared. A second chance now to deliver. Oh, it's come to number six. Oh. City East trying to build something now. Oh, bundled over. But the ref sees nothing wrong. Number nine certainly felt it in his side. But do go down the line. But it's good cover in there. And a goal kick. He's still feeling it. Ah, oh, look, 91's coming to check if he's okay. And to apologize. We love to see that. Good sportsmanship. But do again launch it forward. This could be spectacular. Oh. It's off for a throw in. Can City East make something happen here? They're looking for a flick on from their big number 10. Badu head. Oh, it's gone to the back post. And it's a goal! City East FC have responded. And their coach is on the pitch celebrating. That is passion. And the ref says, off please. Love it. Let's have another look at that from behind the goal. It was a great touch by number nine on the turn there. Excellent goal. And many recriminations now in the Badu defense. Badu straight back on the attack, down the left wing. Waiting for support, he's got it now. Oh, lofted to number 71, what a touch! And a goal, Badu fire straight back. It was a very clever first touch there to wrong foot the defender and finish with his left. Badu player requiring a bit of assistance from his teammates. I'm not sure what happened. I was passing a ball back to another pitch, but they're having a long discussion about it. Oh, coach is getting involved. Ref says, off please, off please coach. Please leave the pitch. Please make your way that way off the pitch. Thank you, please. Thanks a lot. One thing to note is that the wind is really in Badu's favor this half. Okay, another throw for City East from number six. In it goes, towards their big number 10. Comes back out to six. Nice touch. Oh! The ref says no. No penalty. The player is writhing in agony. Man down, ref. Man down. The whole City East FC coaching staff is on the pitch. They're going to have to be the physios too. But the ref is deep into another discussion. Tara. 91 is having to come over and apologize again. Boff. He kicked him up in the air. There's no two ways about it. This could take a while. Oh, here comes the ref. He's coming to check on the casualty and have a nice little discussion. There's a lot of talking in these Premier Division games. Oh, he's up. Who's this guy running on? Is it a physio? I hope he's got his magic sponge. Oh no, he's down again. I'm 
may as well film the birds. They are struggling with the wind too. Finally, the game continues. And it's half time. That was a pulsating half of Premier Division football. It is nicely poised. But do ahead. But City East will be with the wind second half. Half time chinwag. East. Can they turn this around? The wind is getting stronger if anything. Seven team released. Oh, he's turned past him. Shoots. Good covering by the defender. Flicked on by the number 10. And it comes back to him. Taken down nicely into the box. Oh, he's hit the post. Great effort. Number six again, the long throw specialist. <laughs> Cleared by Badu. But it's back to number six. That's a great ball. Oh, it's all City East now. Dangerous cross, not dealt with. It's number 10. Oh, it flashes wide. Number 14 released. Yes, he's onside. Picks out a man in the middle. Oh, is it not their day? I like this coach, he's got passion and intensity, but he knows how to chill out too. I would love to play for him if I was still playing. Number 10 again causing problems for the Badu defence. This time it's cleared though. And booted into the wind. Boff, comes back with interest. Oh, and number nine's through, oh. Penalty, says the ref. Wow, was it? Let's have a look. Hmm, I'm not convinced. And another lengthy debate, of course. If it was a soft penalty, then at least it makes up for the one in the first half that wasn't given. They want a red card. That would be too much. The inquest is finally concluded and now we're ready. It's number nine stepping up. And he scores his second goal and equaliser for City East. Game on. Still time for either side to get a winner. It's number six again with the long throw, wind assisted. And number 10, he's been a menace this half. Oh, he's chipped it in, lovely ball. Oh, what an effort. Number nine is a goal. What a goal to put City East 3-2 up. Great volley by number eight. It was a beautifully chipped ball into the box and an even more beautiful volley, look at that. And then a brilliant instinctive finish by the number nine. That's his hat trick. Corner for City East. Oh, look at that. That just shows the force of this wind. That ball's not coming back. Number 10 again linking up play. Oh, can they seal it here? Oh, the post. Could have passed it maybe. The final whistle must be very, very close. Last chance saloon for Badu. Launched in, headed clear. It's got to be route one now for Badu. Knocked in again. Keepers coming out. Oh! Was that a penalty? The ref says no. Oh my word. Badu are up in arms. They can't believe it. The ref has made up his mind though. 
He's just coming to check on the players. Let's take another look at that. 18 gets there first and is clattered by the goalkeeper. Seems clear enough, but maybe the ref didn't have the best angle and he doesn't have any assistant refs to help him. Where is the ref? He's in the eye of the storm, a swirling maelstrom of protestations. He is being hectored and pressured from all sides. It's pandemonium. Even passerbys are getting in on it. I understand Badu's frustrations, but this is over the top now. Just leave it to the captain to voice his displeasure. And maybe go online later and leave a bad review for the ref. Okay, here we go. The ref is gaining back some control. He's got his cards out. Which colour will it be? And there it is. A red card for number five. There was a lot going on, so I'm not sure exactly what it is for. But I'm sure the ref can explain in great detail. Oh, this is what we need. The big number ten. Uh-oh. Ah, here come some cooler heads. And the ref's blown the final whistle. I thought I'd never get home. And there we have it. City East with the win. A great second half comeback. They were the better team, but Badu FC may feel a bit aggrieved that he didn't get that penalty right at the end. And shout out to the ref. He might have got a few decisions wrong, but he has patiently tried to explain them in the midst of some over-the-top antics and pressuring. It's a very tough job. The ref, still having a nice chat. I think he just comes here for the conversation. But I need to get home. Ah, the crows, reclaiming their territory. Wow, that was intense. I enjoyed the drama and controversy, I have to admit. And it was some quality football. Now, where's my car? I hope it's not being towed. There it is. At this point, I realized I had lost my car keys. I knew I shouldn't have put them in those pockets with no zip. I put everything in my bag and went back to look. This is the sound of me retracing my steps. I went into the change rooms to see if anyone had handed them in, but they hadn't. So my search continued, my eyes scanning acres of football pitches. But it felt a mammoth task. I was having to accept the reality that I would need to go home and get my spare key and also find a way to cut through my steering lock whose only key was attached to my car key and do all that before the car park is locked. I was getting hungry but my ciabatta power sandwich was in the car. My last hope was to check in the pavilion. I said to the man there, has anyone handed in some keys? And he said, yes. I was so happy and grateful to that kind person who handed them in. Hmm. Now it's time for the classified football results. Premier Division Badu FC 2 City East FC 3 Hackney Borough 1 FC Neva 1st 5 Navarino 2 Ali China 0 UK Moldova 3 Crondall 2 Division 1 Atletico DFZ 5 Lancaster All Stars 3 Azteca 4 Clapton Community 1 FC Dynaster 0, Mandizi FC 
nil. Mateo FC 4, Loxford Lions, nil. Stratford Juniors, 10, Top Grade FC, 6. Great to see Top Grade FC back after their 18-0 loss on week 1. They may have shipped another 10 goals, but they scored a few themselves and that has to be a good sign. Division 2 FC Carpati 1, Docklands 2 Flamengo 3, Boca Albion 1 Gladstone Wanderers 8, Stoke Newington Youth 0 h and All-Stars 3, Keys Athletic 3 The youth of Stoke Newington still very troubled. I hope they get a goal next week. Division 3 CSM London 2, 7, Delta Athletic, 2, FC Wood Green, 0, Lymore Gardens, 8, Sunday FC 4, Millfields, 1, Division 4, Community Road 5, Birkbeck Orient, 2, East London 1, South London Sharks, 2, Gorillas 1, Wojak Sunday, 4, Limehouse Tegler, 3, Baboba Badgers, 3. There were also some cup games this week, between Hackney and Leighton League teams, and some teams from other leagues. London Sunday Trophy, R-Star 2, Boundary Estate 2, Boundary Estate win, 4-3 on penalties. Limited Pros 1, Sopranos FC together, 4. Do we think that's a team of singers, or a team of fans of the TV show? London Sunday Junior Cup, Fish Island 3, Rose and Crown Welling FC, 0. No. The Wenlock FC 2, New World FC 1st, 5. Larkle City FC 1, London Jaguars, 12. Well done to the Jaguars, and the Fish, and the other Hackney and Leighton League teams who are through to the next round of their Cups. I'm going to do a bit of research about all the Cups, and see what they're about. Anyway, thanks for watching. It was an exciting match, wasn't it? Very intense. Gosh. Well, just have a little lie down in the grass, and allow yourself to just relax.